Hello you all, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to check uh, the weekly general tarot reading for your star sign for the week 11th to 17th of uh, January 2021. And in case you are interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, uh, a link to my website from which very front page you can see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also keep in mind that the content for YouTube and Facebook, they are uh, separate, they are exclusive to one another. While in YouTube you can find um, your weekly general tarot readings. In Facebook you are going to find astrology posts performed by the Pisces Moonbeam, which is an exceptional astrologer that works with me. And as well you can catch me live and have your daily tarot readings. So with that being said, enjoy the show. Right, so we have uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising uh, on our hands, guys. And just give me a second here to shuffle the tarot cards, and we're gonna jump uh, right into the spread. Right, so uh, the first one for Leo, that is going to be the uh, Leo card and that is the Lust or the Strength card. Moving next, uh, we do have the Eight of Pentacles followed by uh, the Six of Cups. Furthermore, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. And uh, the last card we have for you, Leo, that is going to be the Emperor card. So those... Um, uh, those five cards and so Leo uh, towards the start of the week or this is how the week is going to start for you with the strength card it does look like that you are going to enter into the week itself with a, a lot of passion and as well a lot of enthusiasm now I'm not going to be surprised to say the least if you do have certain specific thing in mind all right certain specific goal because this is how the strength generally operates. You do have something in mind. You do want to accomplish a thing and you don't feel any necessity whatsoever to prove yourself right in front of those that are surrounding you or to pretty much give an, any kind of an explanation why you want to do what you want to do. You just know that that's the right thing for you to do. You just know that that is what's going to make you happy, for example, what's going to make you uh uh, effective and you just jump on doing it but the strength goes even further than that as well now with the strength card at the start of the week it seems that you're going to have the say the awareness how exactly to operate in general how exactly how much passion and how much aggression or how much kindness to uh, incorporate into your deeds, into the deeds of your career, you know, and how to address your relationship as well. So you can expect, uh, uh, suffice to say here, you can expect that at the start of the week, whatever situation you're finding yourself at or whatever, uh, and as well, you know, whatever thing you do have in mind, you at the start of the week, you're going to do the right approach toward it, toward your person of interest, you know, or toward the project that you want to push forward and etc, etc. Next one, uh, that is going to be the Eight of uh, Pentacles and as the week progresses, the passion is going to abate a little bit. Uh, that is because passion is accompanied with a creative expression, but with the Eight of Pentacles, there isn't much of a creativity where you can jump into, okay? Here with this card, it's more like a... Uh, sorting out things uh, things around in a sense of that now you have stabilized now you have structured let's say a plan or a to-go to list or uh, it's kind of like uh, certain steps you know that you gotta take in order to reach whatever you had in mind at the start of the week and now with the eight of pentacles towards the mid of the week it is where you from, from the beginning towards the middle of the week, it is where you now start playing around with, uh, with the means and with what you have as, a, uh, as an asset, right? And it is where you are actually undertaking the details of the situation as well, addressing uh, the sensitive matters with a, a conscientiousness 
and making the the environment and not just only the environment but as well the circumstances as perfect as they possibly can but also the eight of pentacles it is the time where that passion transforms into actions and i could say a rather very effective actions for with the eight of pentacles whatever the passion dictates you to plan for what you are to chase in terms of goal or in terms of agenda, with the Eight of Pentacles, that plan finally can start unfolding itself bit by bit. And that is for you have built a, a very good foundation for it through making the circumstances as a perfect as possible. And at the middle of the week here, we do have the Six of Cups. And that card only points that the development is something you are going to like very, very much. So you can expect the, uh, the unfoldment of your career is to be of your liking and as well the interactions with people and in generally with your person of interest or with your husband, with your, uh, with your beloved one, it will be something that is gonna give you a, a lot, a lot of pleasure. Now I wanna touch here a little bit of an, another narrative that should be uh, if you are single right now and uh, you know you are entering into the week without any person of interest okay that these cards here speaks that at the start of the week you're gonna have a lot of passion to show yourself in front of the world and actual showing here happens uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, which if I have to estimate, it's toward Tuesday, Wednesday, all right? And at Wednesday, Thursday, it is where the Six of Cups manifest. And Six of Cups, when you are entirely single, it's a sign of appearance of a person that you are going to simultaneously, you both toward each other, going to start simultaneously develop and an emotional attachment, very small at the start, you know, it just could be someone that you do like and they like you, you know, they like your presence, they like your company, but also with the Six of Cups, there is a, a, a chemistry, okay, physical pull as well, so it's not going to be a sheer skin deep, but also it will be supplemented with, uh, with more deeper, uh, or kind of like more uh, complete, I would say, uh, attraction and as well pull toward one another. And then we go to the next one, which is the Six of Pentacles. And at that point, this is where the snowball is really starting to get bigger and bigger. The snowball that you have set here at the start of the week with your passion, either regarding career or either regarding relationships. Six of Pentacles addresses the hierarchy and the natural, co uh, co not natural, but the, I don't know the other word. It's not exactly natural but the supposed to way, okay? Now, in our language, we do have a, um, a, um, a word for it, because natural is not something that displays it. Natural means that the unnatural cannot happen, but if you do something unnatural, the supposed to way works out regardless, okay? So we're talking here about the supposed to way of development is about to kick in and that's why it's a snowball. You have started something from the start and now it has its own inertia and it moves on. So if that's about relationship, that relationship takes off here with the Six of Pentacles, right? You set it up, something in terms of career, like a business plan, all right, or, or like a project and it takes off here with the Six of Pentacles and it, it pretty much fits into a certain current. It fits into a certain narrative and moves on. That is for the Six of Pentacles, like I said, it is a above hierarchy. In that particular moment, which is from the middle of the week towards the end of the week, you can start expecting that certain predicaments that you have sensed at the start or they have been at presence at the very initial stage of whatever you had in mind or your goal that you could not resolve at that point because you did not know the root of the matter. Now here with the Six of Pentacles is going to be pretty clear how far you can go, uh, what you should take on as an action or as a decision, if you will, to resolve that matter in your marriage or that matter into your current relationship or that matter with, with your interaction or that matter with, uh, with your business plan as well, that obstructing you of a moving forward. Another thing with the Six of Pentacles as well, it is that whichever uh, place you are taking at that point, point is highly unlikely to be changed. I would say even impossible to be changed or swapped, 
throughout, throughout that particular week. That is because whatever place of the ladder of the hierarchy you are in, you are to remain there. I mean, of course, you can get help from the higher level of the hierarchy or the lower level of the hierarchy, whichever way you want to you, you uh, uh, pledge for help. But that help is not going to resolve your matter. So towards the end of the week, best results are the results that you can accomplish by yourself. Otherwise, there are going to be no results whatsoever. The best thing that can happen if you do use any help whatsoever towards the end of the week is to postpone the issue for the next week moving forward. And the last card for you, Leo, that is to be the emperor. And that marks the end of the week and how you are going to enter into the next one just before you entering into the next one. So with the Emperor, it seems that you are to be pretty, uh, I could say pleased and as well excited, let's say it that way, about the accomplishments that you are able to achieve throughout the week itself. Now, they materially wise, they may not be a big things, but the sheer prospect of how far they can stretch in terms of career or in terms of relationship is going to make you feel strong, is going to make you feel with authority, let's say it that way. And um, you are also, if beforehand you did not put much of a hope into it, you know, into your new interaction, let's say, or into your new job, at that point towards the end of the week, you're going to understand how serious the situation is. And in serious, I mean how real the situation is. And that is going to make you address it from there moving forward with uh, a lot of uh, reliability, if you will. So you're going to be reliable to it as well. A lot of, uh, um, what was the English word here, guys? Um, and it's not compassion. It is where, you know, you are sincere to it. It, it is where you do give a, uh, a notice and you do give an impression that you really care for it and not just only care but as well you, it's something very valuable for you and it is something very substantial for you um, with that addressing or with the way that you are addressing the situation from there on moving forward it will be um, a way that how can I say you you will aim to maintain everything under control to a point where Nothing exterior can actually can actually influences the uh, the outcome or in the near future that is of your career or of your uh, relationship. So it does look like Leo, Leo that uh, at the start of the week there will be that kind of a, a passion that is going to possess you for you to undertake control over your life by a some kind of an engine here, which is going to be an engine of a new goal or of a uh, a new idea and you're pretty quickly going to set it into motion and that pretty much is going to get you uh, be even in more control over your life. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.